What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike, aka Michael Mitchell, back at it again with another video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about credit cards again. And this video for credit cards is actually about the best credit cards for beginners. So, without further ado, I don't like wasting your time. So, let's get right into it with the best credit cards for beginners. Let's go. don't understand the concept of credit or credit cards make sure you watch my how to get a perfect credit score in 2020 video after you watch that video come back here and watch this one but if you already watched that video and you have a general knowledge of credit or credit cards or anything like that then basically you're in the right place so to begin let's start off with if you don't have any credit or if you have very little credit what credit card should you actually get and in that case it would be a secured credit card when you sign up for a regular credit card that issuer of that credit card will give you a credit limit that credit limit could be two hundred fifty dollars five hundred dollars a thousand dollars ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars it really doesn't matter it all really depends it depends on a multitude of factors all regarding to your credit score with a secured credit card you actually have to give the bank or the issuer money and that money will actually be your credit limit so say for instance you get a secured credit card and you want a credit limit of a thousand dollars you would give the bank one thousand dollars of your own money yes cash or however you got it after giving the bank that one thousand dollars two hundred dollars five hundred dollars whatever you want to give the bank that would be your credit limit this is perfect for people that have really bad credit or people that have no credit at all the secured credit card that i would recommend would be the discover it secured credit card Yes, it 100% is a real credit card. It is a 100% refundable deposit. So that means if you give them $200 for your credit limit or $500 for your credit limit or $1,000 for your credit limit, you'll get that money back after about a three to six month period. Once that period is up, they'll actually give you that credit line or that credit limit without you having to have any money given to them essentially. So they're not giving you free money because it's not free money, but they're giving you a credit limit like a regular credit card would. Also earn 2% cash back, which is very rare for a secured credit card that you get any cash back at all because once again like I mentioned this is for people that have bad credit or they're trying to build their credit but you get 2% back at gas stations and restaurants on up to $1,000 in purchases each quarter so that means each three months and you'll earn unlimited 1% cash back on all other purchases automatically you'll also get unlimited cash back match and a free FICO credit score on your monthly statement to be viewed on your mobile Discover app or you can view it online. Secure credit cards are once again the perfect way to build your credit or rebuild your credit depending on where you stand. Now that's out of the way, for regular credit cards, the people that do have a solid credit score, but they might only have one credit card and they might feel like it's not good enough and they're looking for another one, or you might just be going for your first credit card and you have a solid credit score because you do have credit history because credit cards aren't the only way to get credit history. You can have them from car loans, you can have them from school loans, you can have them from house loans, whatever. I don't really know what you got going on, but that's really none of my business. Regardless, I'm just here to provide you with the information. And my first credit card recommendation is the Discover It Cashback credit card. So yes, not really surprising here because the Discover It Secured is such a solid card. The Discover It Cashback is just as well a solid card. You'll get no annual fee with this card. You'll also get a low intro APR. This essentially means when you sign up for the card, you don't have to pay any interest on the card for the first 14 months. So that means you can go and buy, do whatever willy nilly. You don't have to take worry about the bill. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that at all. But you don't have to worry about the bill because there's no interest. So everything you buy will just be this that. After that 14 months is up, you'll have an interest rate of anywhere between 11.99% and 22.99%. I'm assuming if you're this is a beginner credit card, this is one of your first credit cards, it's going to be on the higher side of that. But there's nothing wrong with that because once again, if you pay for your credit card on time every single month, you don't have to worry about paying for any interest. And that's the best way to use your credit card. They also have a 3% intro balance transfer fee until October 10th, 2020. And this essentially means if you have a credit card now and you have a lot of money on there and you wanna move all that money from one credit card to another credit card without having to pay any interest on it, this is a great way to do it. You'll pay that 3% once, but then you'll have no interest for 14 months. So that's a great way to go ahead and take care of a credit card, get that bill down without paying any interest on it is a balance transfer. But like I mentioned before, secure credit cards don't really offer that much cash back. So let's look at a regular credit card like the Discover It cash back and see what kind of cash back you actually get. It has cash back in the name, so it should be pretty solid. You get 5% cash back on everyday purchases at different places each quarter like amazon.com, grocery stores, restaurants, gas stations, or when you pay using PayPal. You'll earn 1% back on everything else and you'll get a two times cash back match, which gets you an unlimited dollar for dollar match for all cash back you've earned 
at the end of the first year automatically. Breaking down the 5% cash back as it differs per quarter as well as it'll differ next year, you can see that between July and September 2020, you'll get 5% cash back at restaurants and PayPal. And from October to December of this year, you'll get 5% back at Amazon.com, Walmart.com, and Target.com, which is super solid. All of these are up to $1,500. So once you go over $1,500 in any of those purchases, any of those places, you won't get 5% back anymore. You'll get 1% back. Your cash back for the Discover It cash back credit card will never expire as long as your account is in good standing. It's pretty easy to keep a credit card account in good standing. Just pay your bills and you should be just fine. But once again, try to make sure you're paying for it 100% in full every single month because that's how you're going to increase your score over time in the long run to get you even better credit cards than this. And this is a great credit card, simply put, but if you can get something better than this, why not? So let's move on to my next recommendation. My next credit card recommendation is actually the Apple card. So obviously I had the Apple card. I've had the Apple card for, um, I don't know, almost a year now. I've had it since it came out and I think it came out last August maybe. So it should be a year, what, by the end of next month? Yeah, a year by the end of the next month. Look at that. You get 3% cash back with the Apple card if you're buying Apple products or services as well as their partners. You'll also get 3% back. You'll get 2% cash back when you actually use your iPhone to make a payment. So that's anywhere you go and make a payment that uses Apple Pay and you use your Apple card, you'll automatically get 2% back. And this is daily cash. You'll get it back basically the next day, if not the next day, definitely the day after that. You'll get it cash back instantly into your Apple Pay account and you'll get 1% cash back on everything else. I highly, highly recommend the Apple Card, especially if you have an iPhone. Seems like a no-brainer, especially since they have no fees. They show you exactly how much interest you would have to pay if you had to pay any interest. They lay everything out really nice for you. They have the unlimited cash back. You'll still get all those 3% backs. It's a nice titanium card. It's a whole bunch of reasons why I like the Apple Card over certain other credit cards and a whole bunch of reasons why the other credit cards are way better than the Apple Card. Make sure you check out my Apple Card videos for that. Also, for a limited time, I believe until the end of this month, so until the end of August of 2020, if you sign up and get yourself an Apple Card with your iPhone and you buy an Apple service, that means like you use it for Apple Pay, maybe you go and buy a movie on Apple TV, something like that, they'll give you $50 for free. So sign up, you get an Apple Card, you get $50 for free just for signing up. All you have to do is go and buy an Apple service. It's not that hard. You're going to do that anyway. And you have to pay for it with your Apple card, obviously. But you know, what's the big deal in that? This still applies the same way as the Discover It card, where you obviously should pay off your credit card at the end of the month in full every single month to make that credit score go straight up. It's nothing wrong with that. That's what you got to do. It's super simple. It's, credit cards aren't hard. People just make them hard. It's really not that big a deal. My next credit card recommendation is actually my first credit card, which is the Bank of America Cash Rewards credit card. So with the Bank of America Cash Rewards credit card, you're going to get 3% back in any category of your choice. So that means gas, online shopping, dining, travel, drugstores, or home improvement. You'll get 3% back in whatever you choose and you can also change that 3% back once a month. You'll get 2% back in grocery stores and wholesale clubs. So you go to Giant, you go to Publix, you go to uh, Sam's Club, anything like that. You'll get 2% back there and then you'll get 1% back in everything else. Just like the Apple Card and the Discover It cash back card, you're gonna get no annual fee. So you don't have to worry about paying any fee yearly. And you may say, well, Mike, why would I ever get a yearly fee card? There's nothing really wrong with not having a yearly fee card at all. Well, there's nothing wrong with ha not having a yearly fee because who wants to pay a yearly fee? But yearly fee cards, usually cards that cost anywhere between $100 a year to 500, maybe $600 a year, credit cards I'm talking about, that cost $600 a year, yes. They usually come with a lot better benefits than these just simple cash back rewards, but obviously you're paying for that. But overall, it usually outweighs it. Regardless, I don't have any annual fee cards on this list today. With the Bank of America Cash Back Rewards card, you're also gonna get 0% APR for the first 15 months, meaning you don't have any interest for the first 15 months of you having the card. And you'll also get $200 cash back if you spend at least $1,000 in the first three months, which is super easy to do. I did that in like uh, three weeks. So, I mean, it's, it's really not that hard to do. You get 90 days to spend $1,000. If you spend over $1,000, they'll give you $200 back just like that. It'll go straight into your account and you can just do whatever you want with it. It's up to you. The last card I want to recommend today on this list is the American Express Blue Cash Everyday Cashback with no annual fee credit card. 
it's not really that long, but I made it that long, oh well. With the American Express card, you're gonna get 0% APR for the first 15 months of opening the account, so you know what that means. That means you're gonna have to pay any interest for 15 months. You'll also get 3% cash back on US supermarkets up to $6,000 per year, and then you'll get 1% after that. You'll get 2% back on US gas stations, which is nice, of course. You'll also get another 2% back on select US department stores, and you'll get 1% cash back on everything else. The American Express credit card also comes with a couple of perks like the 24-7 global hotline assistance, which I feel like every credit card should have 24-7 service for their credit cards, as well as the car loss and damage insurance, which is super nice considering it is a free annual fee card. So those are my recommendations for my favorite credit cards for beginners. Those aren't the best credit cards for beginners because honestly, I don't even know how long it would take me to make a video about every single credit card for beginners that might work for you. The main things you wanna be focused on when you're looking for a new credit card or a credit card in general is the rewards, the annual fees, and whether you're willing to pay annual fees, the sign up bonuses, as well as any other perks. As far as rewards go, do you want a card that's gonna give you a lot back in restaurants? Do you want a card that's gonna give you a lot back in travel? Because I didn't mention any travel cards, but there are some great beginner travel cards like the Bank of America Travel Rewards Card. I also didn't mention any cards with annual fees, but annual fee cards also give you way more perks than cards that just simply don't have annual fees, like the Chase Sapphire Preferred and Reserve Card or the American Express Green Card, American Express Gold, American Express Platinum, all that. Sign up bonuses kind of come and go depending on the economy, depending on the bank. As you can see, the Bank of America Cash Rewards card will give you $200 if you spend $1,000 in the first three months. Just like the Chase Sapphire will give you $750 if you spend $4,000 within the first three months. It all depends. Shop around. It kind of changes. It's all time based. It really doesn't. You just have to look around and just kind of hope that they have a sign up bonus. I mean, you can't really ask for a sign up bonus. So that's kind of that as far as that goes. And other perks like insurance or a 0% intro APR may be something you want to look into, especially if you plan on making a big purchase and you want to spread that purchase out over a course of a long time, you might want to look for a 0% APR card because if you're going to go and buy something for $4,000 and you can't pay $4,000 by the end of the month, then guess what? You're going to be paying interest on that $4,000 you just made the purchase on. But if you got a card that has a 0% interest rate for 14 months, then you can make those payments over 14 months and don't have to worry about paying a single dime in interest, which is what you want to do because there's no reason in going to buy anything and paying more than what it costs. If you can't do it, don't buy it. I promise it's not worth it. Like it's not. Trust me. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit it with a like button. If you want me to talk about credit cards even more, if you want me to talk about credit cards even less, make sure you let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit me up on my social media. Let me know there on Twitter, on Instagram, anything like that. I make videos all about credit cards, personal finance in general. So I got you covered as far as everything. Just check out the channel and I'm pretty sure you'll find something you like. If you don't, then let me know down in the comment section so I can make something you like and then we'll go forward with that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace.